Today we are going to discuss about how to fix one of the usual error string or binary data would be truncated. When using entity framework, you will get this error as violation fail for one or more entities. Let's consider what's the reason for this error. Normally, you will get this error when you try to do insert or update operation into the database. And the condition for this error is that the length of the data to be inserted exceeds the table field capacity. In other words, the capacity of the table field is not enough to hold the inserting data. Let's consider one example here. As you can see, this is my database technomark and inside tables, you can see there is one table get table and the columns are ID, name and state. The maximum length of the name and state are varchar 10. Let's do some update operation here. Here on the table get table, you will get there are only one row with name test and state as Delhi. Now I'm going to update this name with another value. If you can see, if I update with test data, yes, one row is affected. If I select all the values, you can see the value is updated without having any error. Now let's consider if I insert with more length to this name field. Now, if I execute this operation, you can see I am getting the error string or bind data would be truncated. That means that if the capacity of the inserting data is more enough than that of the table field, you will definitely get this error. So, let's consider how to resolve this issue. In order to resolve this issue, we have to increase the capacity of the table field. For that, first of all, Let's go to the tools options and then go to the designers and check the prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Uncheck that one and press OK. Now go to the Technomark database and select the table that needs to be modified. Here it is get table and right click on that. Select design. This will open the table structure and you need to increase the capacity of the name field to the maximum. I'm specifying it as max. Okay, control S for saving this into the database. Yes, now it's saved right now. Let's execute the query once again. If you execute the query updates get table set name is equal to a long string you will get one row is affected you can see by this way we can resolve this issue thank you guys for watching this video please visit technomark.in for more information